pink sauce lady has responded in the cringiest way possible. After witnessing her pink sauce products downfall, rock bottom couldn't be any closer. So we have to ask ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, how much worse could this have got since my last video? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. Sorry I've been gone for the last two weeks. I took Fluff Dumpster up on a suggestion for me to start pheromone maxing, and I have been doing so for the last 14 days, and the results are in, baby. The flu. But anyway, the pink sauce lady has gone absolutely crackers. She actually ended up going to the hood to make people try her pink sauce. Not the hood. In the preview of that TikTok, she shows a bunch of police cars. Very dangerous. <laughs> but if you haven't seen my last pink sauce video, I've made several. I, okay, I am sorry. I do milk topics until they're dry. What can I say? I, I do love milking. But Chef P was a TikTok creator who one day decided to showcase her new sauce she's releasing, which was pink. And people started buying loads of this pink sauce. She shipped it to many people across the country. And it was a surprising moment for the food industry. Surprisingly sh**. Yeah, it was a part of her hilarious joke to ship the sauce across the country during the hottest time of the year with milk and eggs in it. I mean, that is just a stinker. That looks like the inside of somebody's ass. Then a company known as Dave's Gourmet approached her. She got a wonderful business opportunity. That also went to sh as well. Absolute Aww. stinker again. You know, she was accusing the company that she hadn't been paid and that she was struggling for rent and everything, but then she proceeds to go on TikTok flexing that she sold 200,000 fucking bottles. And following that, a plethora of videos came out of her just absolutely roasting Dave's Gourmet. Obviously, no one sided with her. Everybody was telling her to put the fries in the bag. But she just wouldn't shut up about Dave's Gourmet, which actually forced Dave's Gourmet to respond to the situation, and they came with a receipt. And then she had a glorious grand idea, and that was to release a new sauce in the form of powder. And this powdered sauce was on her website, it was going for $20 plus shipping. She had like a sweet pink, a sweet blue, and then she had the original pink sauce. Keeping in mind as well, ladies and gentlemen, that when you buy this sauce, you have to mix different ingredients in with it. You have to mix mayo, sweet chili, sour cream, all kinds of crap. It just doesn't sound original anymore. It's food colouring. I mean, it has to be. And that's why I accuse her of scamming people like six videos ago. But they weren't the only flavours she was planning to release, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. On TikTok, she showcased a bunch of other flavours like raunchy, green sauce, not mustard. <laughs> oh, sounds delicious. C can I have some? W will this 100% give me IBS? Yeah, I'll buy some. Yeah, I'll take some. I'll take it. And for those who aren't cultured in the abdominal region, IBS is irritable bowel syndrome, meaning I'll have the shit. But anyway, about the powdered sauce, I was going to order some so I can try some here on camera. Then August the Duck did it, so I was a bit disappointed. And then I also realised I couldn't order it to the UK, so I was double disappointed. Epic fail. But he tried it, he took the hit for us, and I'm surprised he's still alive. And I thought he was dead. But what is absolutely wild about her pink sauce and the powder that she's released is the consistency of it. But here's one video of her making the pink sauce, and it looks very watery. Almost like toilet water. And in this video, she's consuming a whole sheep's leg, but the pink sauce also seems very watery. But it's a completely different colour this time. And then there's this video where the pink sauce is the same colour as the last one, except the texture is completely different. This one's very gooey and seems to stick to everything. What the f*** is going on? It's just the bare minimum of making a sauce. If you can't get the consistency and texture right every single time, then you haven't got a business. You failed. Put the fries in the bag. Now, as I mentioned, she has responded to all the hate, as in she did that by going to the hunt making people to try her sauce just to prove to everybody that the pink sauce is actually lit. Now, she's also done this once before when she was receiving some backlash, where she went to a fun fair and forced these poor victims to consume her pink and grey sauce. Yeah, the grey sauce was meant to be the blue one, but as you can see, it, it it's the same shade as Squidward. And those two poor girls, no one's heard or seen from them since. They, they dropped off the radar after that, and... The cops are still looking. So her grand idea was to recreate what she did before, but in the hood this time. Just to show everybody how much her pink sauce rocks and that we suck. And that 5 minute and 30 second clip we will be taking a look at shortly because that's a long one and I want to keep that until the end. But she's still been posting some interesting TikToks, ladies and gentlemen, which I think you'll have a good little chuckle at. So let's have a look. This company really think they're going to take my product and get away with it. First of all, I don't know what's going on with the pink sauce. I don't know where the pink sauce at, where it's being distributed, who is selling it i don't know anything going on behind the scenes this is my company this is my product sorry you, you don't know what's going on with your own product oh brilliant seems like a person that's got her head on straight she has no idea what's going on with her own product <laughs> guys i don't know what's going on with the curtis price channel I, I i'm not the man to ask i i don't know what kind of content has been uploaded on there i don't know who's posting videos i just i haven't got a fucking clue i mean for someone who's based their whole personality on a sauce that's the color of pink and doesn't know what's going on i mean she seems like someone with expert business experience 
someone with very good critical thinking skills. Being silent is not the solution. I've constantly been burying myself with isolation. I'm healing myself because I refuse to go down mentally, but I refuse to let my business go as well. I mean, yes, that's true. Don't let yourself go down mentally, but you're also talking about not letting your business go. The, the, the one that failed, that one. The problem is, is that your first pink sauce failed miserably. You sent her across the country with milk and eggs in it during the hottest time of the year, and it turned up covered in mold and asbestos. You had a second chance with Dave's Gourmet. They released the sauce, it wasn't pink. Did you not read the papers? I said this in my last video, but there's no way, ladies and gentlemen, that she didn't do like some sort of product review before it was released. And I wonder why y'all been seeing it on clearance at Walmart. Because it's not pink. Simple as that. When I created this product, it was supposed to be a pink sauce. Why does the one that I make stay pink for a long time? It has no artificial additives or coloring or nothing like that. I ain't got a lot of nobody. But she talks about how there was additives in the pink sauce that Dave's Gourmet released and how her original pink sauce didn't have anything like that. But surely that begs the question again that before the product was released, you must have reviewed what ingredients were in there. And you must have given the go-ahead. I just think the pink sauce lady went to Dave's Gourmet, saw the product, saw the ingredients, and was like, yep, yeah, money, money. Release the product. Oh, no, it's good. Oh, shit, it's, oh, it's all burning around me. Oh, Dave's Gourmet, Dave's Gourmet. You know, I just think that's what happened. Let me know in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. Do you agree with me? She must have known it was not going to be pink and it was going to be poo colour. <laughs> but yeah, she even went on to release a book as well, which I did cover in my last video, but I didn't really do a deep dive into it. I'm not going to do it in this video either because uh, the cover scares me. It's titled Pink Sprain. It's more than just a colour. I mean, yes, it's your brain, so I would hope that it's more than just colours going on up there. <laughs> Although, given the fact that you have no idea what's going on with the pink sauce right now, I would argue otherwise. And this is the picture she went with for the cover. Yeah, that that's the one. Out of all the ones she took, she thought was of yes. That's the one that I'm gonna go with. That, that that face, that one. The cover genuinely scares me. For the rest of my life, I will now refrain myself from going into the self-help section in the library. And again, it's it seems to be a self-help book. That, that book ain't helping no one. With a cover like that, you're more likely to push people into anxiety, not bring them out of it. You know, usually on the cover of self-help books, you've got people smiling or looking strong and, you know, very well put together. Chef P actually looks insane on the front of her self-help book. And in part 12 of Chef P branching out to do different business adventures, she decided to start promoting TikTok products. Basically finding products on the TikTok shop and then trying to promote them through her TikToks. And then if someone decides to buy it, she gets commission. And again, epic fail, she doesn't link the products. I mean, I've looked guys, unless I'm not looking properly, there's no way this this is actually happening. I must be making a mistake because that's insane. It's like she's not linking the product. And that's how TikTok knows that somebody's bought the product from your TikTok is by them clicking your link that's there. She can't link the f***ing products, but she can link the effect that she used on the video, which is access rotation. God, that's really going to bring in some money, that is. Things are really going downhill for Chef P. Believe it or not, she's not getting that many views on TikTok anymore. Someone commented 11 likes in 15 hours. Need a job application, Chef? Three comments is crazy. Not just that also, but the pink sauce website is down. I gotta buy the packeted seasoning. This is what happens. Oh, God. Sorry, this store is currently unavailable. Oh, what on earth am I gonna dip my chicken wings in now? I don't know whether she's planning to rebrand for the eighth time or what's happening and to be honest with you i don't think she knows either you can't buy any more pink sauce anymore but anyway on to her going to the hood to make people try her pink sauce now i'm assuming the people she's giving it to is her family so we're looking for these little reactions that they make they're obviously going to say it's good because they're trying to help her business but we're looking for these facial reactions just like that child made in the last video i covered there you go raven <laughs> You see how the noise of their vocal cords isn't matching up with their facial expressions? That's what we're looking for in this one. So keep your eyes peeled, soldiers. <laughs> oh, br br brilliant start to the TikTok. Taking the pink sauce to the hood and then showing several police cars. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chef P, and I am back with another video. Okay, so today we are open locker and... We trying to pink sauce, lemon pepper wings, and we about to do some crab. So that's what we got. I already got the pink sauce mixed up, so y'all already know what it is. We gonna have them to try the sauce, and that is what we about to do. What? <laughs> did she just did she just start rapping mid sentence? What's going on here? In the last video, she was literally deep throwing the microphone and screaming into it. And in this video, she seems to be not holding it to her mouth and just moving her hands around as if she's in some sort of rap music video. So. 
Oh, you want it? Okay. Oh god, the stare of death. <laughs> Just the two and a half second. Ah, oh, fuck. What have I got myself into? <laughs> I mean, she seems way too optimistic for what's about to happen. Let me get your honest opinion. Every victim of the pink sauce always seems to have this death stare after trying it. It's it's always the same. This is exactly how it goes. Oh, yeah, your pink sauce. <laughs> I try, I try pink sauce. I try pink sauce. Pink sauce. Pink sauce. <laughs> Yeah, Maybe she does like it. She says she likes it, but it's always that stare after directly into the lens like, oh, sh what is this in my mouth? Cancer. Try the pink sauce today. Yeah. See what it's like now. You gonna give me your honest opinion? Yeah. And the next pink sauce victim seems very proud and happy to be a part of this video. Yeah. Just his facial muscles are really demonstrating the element of joy. Okay. Look, she like it. I got my sausage. Wait, you said y'all too fast. Yeah. You gotta taste it. Yeah. But is it pretty? Do you like it? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. That's just, that's ridiculous. First things first, he he, he said he liked it before he even tried it properly. Oh, is that, is that pink sauce? Oh, I tasted pink sauce. I, I tasted, I tasted, yeah. Oh, that's banging on this. Second of all, the only words he said after trying it was, yeah. When you don't like something, you tend to stay quiet. If you really like something, you tend to, you know, not be able to stop talking about it. Let's try some pink sauce, yeah. Yeah, you like the pink sauce? Yeah. Are you, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you do like it? Yeah. No, do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Notice how after he tried it, he didn't know what to do with himself. He was switching the food between his hands. He was looking at the substance that was left in his fingers. He, he was rubbing it in his shirt. So somebody get him some fluid that was made for human consumption. And then the third victim showed up. And once again, I can see the consistency of this pink sauce. And it's not the same as her previous TikToks. This one is rather lumpy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nah, he just doesn't like it. He does. It's always that stare after. He's just, he just doesn't like it. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. And then he starts pulling the food out of his mouth. I don't know whether or not he has some sort of like shell or something in his mouth or whatever it is, but he goes back for a second pull and it seemed like nothing came out. Perhaps he was trying to get the, uh, the pink sauce resin out of there. It's tangy. Uh huh. Not too salty. Uh huh. Um. Kind of not sweet a little, but it has like a like a good blend to it. Mm -hmm. Like it tastes like chips a little, like a little. Chips. I had this at Walmart in the jar I'm buying it. Okay. Yeah. It tastes like chips, and if it was in Walmart, he would buy it. Well, actually, it's in the Dollar Tree, so you, you got to go there to buy it. But be warned, the colors are very different from one another. <laughs> Second of all, it tastes like chips. In the UK, it's called crisps, I believe, unless they're talking about fries. A sauce that tastes like crisps? Really? <laughs> that's, that's, that doesn't sound right. He also said it doesn't taste sweet, but then the other lady said it does taste sweet, so. It's like a sweet tiny. There seems to be a bit of a, an inconsistent year. Maybe she poured that sauce from another bottle. But then, ladies and gentlemen, the same day that she was making other people try her pink sauce, she starts talking about Dave's Gourmet again. And this time, she names them, which she hasn't done in a while. Someone asked, the pink sauce hit the shelves and turned yellow. I saw it at City Trends today. Y'all keep asking the same question over and over again, and I keep answering the same question over and over again. Don't ask me. Ask Dave's Gourmet. Dave's Gourmet should know why the sauce turned yellow when it hit the shelves. You cannot boil a naturally colored product. Well, okay, it's unfortunate that Dave's Gourmet sauce that you were also involved in didn't end up being pink. It ended up being like an orangey kind of brown color. Yet, it's still better than the one that you shipped yourself, which obviously ended up looking like this. It's not safe for human consumption, whereas Dave's Gourmet's was. I mean, this project went down in flames years ago. You're just being a dead horse at this point. Have you ever seen that image of when you're holding onto a hot pan and the longer you hold on to it, the more it burns your hand? This is what's happening. You're just burning your hand by holding onto something. It's just better to let go. You've closed the website. You're not making any sales. The pink sauce is trash. It says remain the same consistency the texture is always different 
move on to something new, please. And not TikTok shop body suits, all right? We don't need any more of those in our lives. There's plenty of people selling body suits. We don't need you to come in and just tell us to buy one. I'm not buying a body suit. And with that said, I appreciate you guys for supporting me after disappearing for two weeks. Check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy these if you enjoyed this one. Subscribe to the channel. I'm very ill, so make sure you comment down below saying, get well, Curtis. I'll be very upset otherwise.